Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, Kiwi's Collectibles. I'm Pam and today I have a what sold video for you. But first of all, if you have never seen any of my videos or visited my channel, I am a first grade teacher and a part-time reseller. So, and when I say part-time, I really mean part-time. I mean, some days we don't list, you know, we don't sell every single day. It's just a fun hobby for me and hopefully you know, when I retire, it'll be um, my, my full-time job then. Okay, so I have a what sold video for you today, and it is for this past week, ending yesterday. Uh, so it's been about the past seven or eight days. So the first item I'd like to share with you is a Furby. It is a first generation. It is from 1998, and it's not the kind with the electronic eyes. I mean, the eyes you know, they go up and down, but they don't have that electronic eyes that the more recent Furbies have. It worked. I picked it up from a yard sale. I paid $1 for it and I sold it for $25.99. And I thought that was a pretty good profit, especially since it was, it had been sitting for a long time and the, the battery compartment was clean. So, um, I'm pretty happy with that sale. And as a matter of fact, Flip with Chris, if you haven't seen his channel, you really need to go there and check his channel out. He sold a Furby, the same exact Furby. He sold one this week as well. And I believe he got just a little bit less because he had a few issues with it. So that's pretty much the going price for these Furbies. But go ahead and check out his channel. All right, the next item I have is a Frank Frazetta Greg Hildebrandt series cards. I'm not sure if these are trading cards or or playing card. I'm not sure. I, they're not playing cards, but I know there's some type of trading cards. They have they have different types of pictures and images on them. So I'm not exactly sure. I know there's different types of games that are out there that people play. But anyway, I bought these cards a long time ago when I first started thinking, oh my God, this is going to be great. Well, they're not great. But I do have one other set in my eBay store that's still for sale. We bought these cards, both sets, together for $6, and we sold them for $12. And I really thought we would get more money for them. But since we've had them so long, I'm glad to see them go. I hope the next set sells for a little bit more, but our profit there was is going to be about $5. All right, next up. Um, a few weeks ago, I posted a video that I found this Grand Patron, and I'll post that little video up here. It was like Grand Patronus or something, was some Harry Potter reference I made on that video. And it was the Grand Patron empty bottle. It was a beautiful bottle. I bought it for $2.95 at Hidden Treasures, and I sold it for $80. Now, I had it listed for $99.99, I believe. And I had had the cutoff in my store. That's That would be the lease that I would take for it. And someone offered that to me and I went ahead and took it. So um, that's about a 66 profit after, um, you know, fees and cost of goods and everything taken out. So I'm pretty happy with $66 from a $2.95 buy. The next, Memorex tapes. This is again, when we first started out, some terrible, terrible buys. But as you're learning as a reseller, it happens. You make those purchases and you think this is gonna be great. And once you learn more and more and more, you realize, okay, this is crap. And let's just get rid of it, you know, and at least make our money back. And a few bucks would be great. So this was not the greatest buy. It was five Memorex tapes and we bought each of them for $5. And my husband thinks we bought them from Goodwill. It's been a long time. But we sold them for $10.99 and I believe about a $4, $4.50 profit. Again, you know, you go through this as a new reseller. It's not the end of the world, right? But it's still a tiny profit. And here you go, you know, a, a profit is a profit. The next item, um, and I'm going to link this video also. I remember I found these Jobst Relief Compression Stockings or Socks. They're compression socks. They actually go over the toe. I know a lot of runners wear just the compression, um, you know, from the ankle up to the knee, those types of socks. But this one actually goes over the toes. And I bought five of these. They were all together at Goodwill. Um, 
and I bought each of them for $2.92 each, which totals about $11.68 because I only sold four. And I sold them for $29.99 each, which equals to $119.96. Yes, I knew it. I knew it when I found them. I mean, compression socks, you know, lots of people wear them, runners, athletes, even, um, you know, if you're in the hospital, different, I mean, elderly people wear them. So I knew they would sell eventually and they did. I sold four. I still have one left in my store for $29.99 and I hope to sell that one pretty soon. So that's about an $84 profit. Yes, that's a very exciting sale. And um, our last sale for this week, this is a vintage Pyrex. Uh, normally if I see Pyrex and I do buy it, then I'll put it in my antique booth. But this piece of Pyrex was the Pink Daisy Baking Dish. I had never seen the pink before out in the wild. I always found, you know, those um, butterfly gold, you know, just the plant, those blue, no, not the blue ones. It's the green ones. I've seen all of those, just your basics. Uh, and I finally found one and I paid $9 for it at um, one of these thrift stores that I like to shop at, Hidden Treasures. And it was the 575B. So the two quart and she sold it to me for $9 and I sold it online for $48 and after fees and whatnot, I am profiting $32. So excited for that one. Um, and it was such a beautiful dish. It was in the most beautiful condition. It had maybe, you know how the paint, you have a couple little scratches at the bottom of the dish, but everything was just so impeccable on this dish. And it was beautiful, but you know, had to sell it and I made a nice little $32 profit. So let's get down to this week's profits. My gross profit was $297. Now let's take out the fees of $30 to $8.61. That leaves me $258.39. Take away the cost of goods, which is $35.63. And that leaves me with a net profit of $222.78. And I will take it any day of the week. And I'm, like I said, I'm really part-time. So having these sales just helps us out throughout the week. It's a fun little hobby for us. And like I said, I'm hoping to make it a full-time in about four years. But, you know, who's caring? Um, anyway... So that's my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you enjoy this type of content, would you please leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite item was that I sold this week. And also, if you would, just subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.